Slow down, squad. When I tell you to slow down, I'm going to need you to slow down. You heard me? And today, this is part one of a two-part, well, this is part one of a three-part video. Um, and are you serious? Like, that's what you're doing? And you think you're going to get out by doing that? Like, I'm going to let you out by doing that? Oh no, you lost your mind, my boy. You don't get out by that, that's not. I don't, like, what do you, you think I go for that? I don't go for that crybaby pussy shit, boy. Like, what's wrong with you? Uh, hey, look, let me do this for you. I'm gonna go in the house. I'm gonna go in the house for you to let you know that I don't care about that. That crying ain't, uh, that was, I came out here to let you out. You know what? I'm gonna make it even easier. Let me let everybody out sip him. Let me do that. I mean, we're gonna do that. We're gonna let everybody out sip him since he wanna do that. All right. No cry, baby. I'm not I'm not with that. All y'all dog lovers can do that shit. All y'all motherfucking over the extreme dog lovers, y'all do that. I ain't doing that. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Nope. Come on, Hennessy. Come on, Hennessy. Now, now I'm going to give you a reason. Mm-hmm. Now you got a reason. <coughs> All right, slow down, squad. So... Before I was really interrupted by Hancho, dumbass, I was saying something. Now, what I was saying was, this is a part one to a three-part series. So, basically like this, right? So, what I did was, this is what I did. I started my very first YouTube channel. I mean, not my YouTube. I started my, no, no, let's just go on that. I started my YouTube channel for my music. And it was called Boss Man Weezy. I did that like maybe 2018. You know what I'm saying? About 2018. Um, I didn't know about YouTube. So the fact that I, the kids are showing me this, I'm just like, damn, well, this isn't happening, that isn't happening. Let me put my music up. Nothing happened. No, no nothing. I didn't get no love, right? So, start watching CJ So Cool. And you know, the crazy thing about it is, I've been showing this shit. I've been telling this same story. But you know, what y'all don't understand is, Every time, every time it's a new person that clicks on a channel, or you know what I'm saying, rather it's one new person or it's a hundred new person, two hundred new people, a thousand new people, it, you're always gonna have to tell your story because just because it's a new person that's watching the video does not mean that the person has went all the way back to the very first video and all of that, right? So, started my YouTube channel. Start watching motherfucker people on YouTube. Um, I started off watching, um. Well, 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 what we got here? What you done started? Huh? Nigga say, my section eight house with my section eight backyard. You dig? So I, I decided to go spend $500 on some new grass. You know what I'm saying? Then I had another nigga say, well, it's probably was the same person, but like, you made $100,000 off dogs? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, you look at your backyard. Well, you know what? The difference between me and you, I can actually do what I want. You can't. So, you know. Oh, let me, let me, let me wait, let me wait. Boss man, don't worry about the haters. Do you, boss man. Fuck them haters, boss man. We are doing me. Slow down, squad. We are doing me. Ain't no homo a part of doing me is making niggas look stupid. I specialize in that. So, um, 
I'm probably the only nigga that probably done spent in just one section, like damn near ten thousand dollars on side, right? Now, if y'all remember, all this used to be dirt, right? Now we had the box spring right here for for a little while, so that fucked the grass up. But all this was dirt. But you know, I put the side down last motherfucking year, last summer, all over here. Now I had this whole junk good, but it's just something about when, coming down the hill should be fucked up. So what we gonna do, slow down, squad? We are gonna take this fence right here. We are gonna take this fence right here. We gonna keep this fence right here, but. This type of fence, not this right here, but this, this type of fence, we gonna put it across the whole back to where it comes, to about right here. Hey, what are you doing? Sitting down on the chair. About right here. This is where the fence gonna stop. About right here. Boom. And it's gonna have a gate to go through. That's what we gonna do. So the dogs ain't gonna be able to come down and run around because like I, like like you know, at the end of the day, I am just like tired of fucking with this y'all. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But so what we doing today is we getting our section eight home. You know what, bro? Like, hold on, wait a minute. I think about it. I never known people to actually put grass down in a section eight home. Damn, all right, well, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, even listen, even on Credit Karma, it says I'm a YouTuber slash dog breeder. Huh? Even on Credit Karma, that's fucking crazy, man. So they know how much money I make. It's on Credit Karma. So at the end of the day, what we gonna do is we are gonna finish cleaning up this yard. I'm gonna finish doing what I gotta do. Lay this motherfucking side down. So the next scene is gonna be it's gonna be me hopefully getting my Durkios. You know what I'm saying? Get my little Dirks, my little Perkios, you dig? Hopefully, them drinks actually be bleached and not brown, cause I was not going for brown, I was going for blonde, bleached, platinum, whatever. So, I sold y'all niggas, I sold my soul to the Illuminati. Whole bunch of shit, my for a whole bunch of money finna come in real crazy, cause I am down with the, with the naughty, you heard? To the next scene. You know the motto. Couple people on the dog shit. Cause I didn't know, I never knew what Zeus was. I always thought Zeus was a pit bull, but I could he nothing about him showed me pit bull. So I I would used to me and Christian used to look at YouTube, and we would try to figure it out, right? All right. So then I get a dirt bike. After I get my dirt bike, I start watching a whole bunch of dirt bike shit. You feel me? Now. My famous slogan is, boss man, fuck the haters, keep doing you. All right, so from 2019, you know, when I did it, it was 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours to become monetized. I didn't become monetized until September of 2020, right? All right. It is May. 2022. So I want to say this. All my, all the slowdown squad, the, the slowdown squad, everybody who fuck with me, everybody who rock with me, they know that when I pick up this camera, I'm being me. I'm not picking up the camera being no one other than me. So there is no one that has been watching me for over a year who will ever tell me this. And I'm not saying that Y'all people that tell me this, y'all doing anything wrong. I appreciate that. But this is what I'm saying. If Boss Man wasn't doing him, Boss Man would have stopped. Right? So Boss Man, fuck the haters. Do you. Keep doing you. When have I stopped doing me? That's the question. When have I stopped doing me? When have I stopped? When have I started showing you all that? The haters are affecting me. I've never shown y'all that. In all actuality, the haters is the reason why my channel grown. See, what a lot of you guys don't know is, 
around my 1,000 and 3,000 marker, I had the whole game dog community coming at me. From 1,000 to 3,000, I had the whole game dog community coming at me. Why you had the game dog community coming at you? Because the game, the pit bull niggas is the biggest haters of, of, of this new generation dog shit, period. Especially if a nigga got some clout, right? So, me jumping into some shit, not knowing absolutely nothing about it. I didn't even know what a troll was until 2020. So, me jumping into this YouTube shit, me not knowing nothing. I still, I still kept pushing, right? I kept pushing. I never stopped. I literally never stopped. I stayed grinding. I stayed grinding. I used to get, motherfuckers used to tell me that I'm not a breeder. So, what I did was, I made a video confirming that I never called myself a breeder. When I become a breeder, I'll let you know. I've never bred a dog, I have never had a litter, I have never this, I have never that. I made a video, sitting on the couch, I had a green motherfucking uh, sweatsuit on. You know what I'm saying? I sat, I sat on top of my couch and I, I'll let y'all know. All right, slow down squad, so. If you a nigga that got dogs and they be in your yard and they do this and they do that, I know you know about your water hose being chewed up. You know what I'm saying? Water hose chewed the fuck up like shit. So we had to go get a whole new water hose. Dig what I'm saying? Whole new water hose. This joint came attached? No, I put it just to make sure it fits. Oh, I'm about to say, what the Alright, so we about to put this water hose on. About to clamp these to the next thing. You know the motto. I better watch out. I'll let y'all know. It's an insult to people who are actually breeders. I'm not a breeder. I'm just a nigga with dogs, right? So when I become a breeder, you'll know I'm a breeder. I did that. I got so much hate, so much flack that like I said, I didn't know that it was trolls. I pulled a gun out. Somebody said it was out front of my house, I pulled the gun out. You come in here, I'm gonna sh sh shoot all you niggas. My baby mother used that against me. I got arrested for it. No charges stuck. Shit was dropped. A lot of y'all don't know that, but if y'all niggas that are people who been fucking with me for a while, y'all know that that really happened. Right? Y'all people who know that, who been fucking with me for a minute, y'all know that when I first moved in this house for a year straight, a year and a half straight, I was dealing with animal control every other day. In the early two th in, in, in the 2020 videos, early 2021 videos, I was making nothing but animal control videos because I kept getting fucked with. But listen, boss man, fuck the haters, keep doing you. Right? Now, like I say, I have no issue. No problem with y'all niggas telling me that, bro. Real talk. But if I'm not, if I'm not doing me, if I'm not sticking to the grind, if I'm not showing y'all niggas what's really good, what the fuck am I doing? If I'm letting the haters fuck with me, then why the fuck am I still here? That's all, that's all I'm saying, right? If if the haters is fucking with me, if I'm worrying about the haters, why the fuck am I still doing this shit? See, a lot of times, a lot of people say certain things because they're not in your situation. Like my nigga Will. Shout out my fucking Will. Shout out my nigga Will. And everybody on StreamYard, they know that shit. My nigga Will, 
My nigga Will, he's one of them niggas in, that I actually speak with in real life, right? And he'll always tell me, man, young, man, young, you got, you got motherfucking not even worry about what them people say, man. You know what I'm saying? You got not even worry about it. Like all that bullshit a nigga always say to me. And one day we on stream, y'all. Niggas start joning on him. Niggas in the comments section start joining on him. And he couldn't deal with it. And I said, well, damn. I talked to him the next day. I said, well, damn. I said, well, you, you know what you learned? He like, what is that? To stop telling me what the fuck I should do or how I should act. Because I told you. You will never understand till you're in that position. Granted, he's never said it to me again. Because it's easy to sit up here and tell, us, tell somebody that they how they should handle something or what they should do if you're not actually dealing with it. So the fact that my partner Will was not dealing with it when it actually happened and the niggas was trolling him, that positive thought that he had went out the window. He went straight from Jonin to nigga, I'll fuck you up, bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's easy as hell to say what you would do if you're not in that situation. You feel me? So, I would like to let everyone know, if I was not doing me, and it was fuck the haters, I would put the camera down, and I would motherfucking leave this shit alone. But you know what? I'm 500 something videos in, and I have not stopped. I have not stopped. So, little secret. When boss man stop, please, that same energy, that same love, that same motivation that everybody who tell me that got, man, please give me that shit when I quit, when I quit. But until I quit, I don't need now, now, now man, now woman to tell me fuck the haters, do you, because I never stop doing me. So who the fuck is you to me? Heard a nigga won't kill me, that's the word on the streets Only man I fear is God, so who the fuck is you to me? Heard a nigga won't kill me, that's the word on the streets Only man I fear is 